Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So currently in Microsoft Edge, if you want to open up a link in a new tab, one of the options available is you left click on that link and you drag it up to the tab strip and there we go, it opens up that said link um, in a new tab. Now, in regards to this, uh, Microsoft now is testing a new feature in Edge Canary and Edge Dev, which are both preview versions of the browser, which believe it or not, they are calling Super Drag and Drop, which apparently um, will make opening up links in a new tab a lot easier. Now, this is not a default feature that's rolling out um, to Edge Canary and, and Edge Dev. Uh, it's hidden behind an experimental flag, which is common for these brand new features that do start getting tested in these preview versions. And in Edge Canary 122, which is the latest preview version to enable the flag, as always, we head up to the address bar and we enter edge colon forward slash forward slash flags, hit enter. And this takes you to the experimental flags page. And all you have to do is type in super. That's enough to bring up the relevant flag, Microsoft Edge super drag and drop. The description reads, enables the super drag and drop feature, then turn turns on or off the setting in edge setting super drag and drop. So we change that from default to enabled. We restart Edge Canary 122 to apply that flag. And now you'll see if we head back to the settings page, navigate to appearance and scroll down almost to the bottom of the appearance page after enabling that flag. Yeah, you'll see a new feature called super drag and drop. Now this is actually turned off by default. I have enabled the flag a bit just to test it before posting, but um, if you want to obviously enable the feature, you need to turn on that toggle. And yeah, you can configure super drag and drop. So you've got open mode, you can change the new tab, open mode. So you've got open in foreground and you've got open in background. Open in background is the default. Now just to demonstrate, let's head back to the same website and I'm going to drag that link down. But all you have to do now is you left click and you just move it a little bit to the left or to the right and you let go. And there we go, it's now opened up that link in the background in a new tab. And if we head back to settings and we choose open in foreground, which I actually think is a lot better, and we head to the link, you left click and you just drag it a little bit to the right as an example, let your mouse button go and there we go, it's opened up that link now in a new tab in the foreground. And I just wanted to put it out there if you are following new features personally, um, I think this is a little bit more bloat that Microsoft is adding into the browser. It's basically duplicating one or two features that are already available. As I mentioned, you can just drag that tab up to the tab strip, that link up to the tab strip, and it'll open up that link in a new uh, tab. Currently, that's how it is in stable. But um, if you are using a feature very similar to this in the browser, this may be a nice move in the in the right direction. And obviously it's still early days. It's in Edge Canary, Edge Dev, not yet in stable. And obviously if this um, does make its way down to stable, I will post and try and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.